This is Lake Wamala, located in central Buganda, a resource that borders four districts of Mitiana, Mubende, Kasanda, and Gomba. Lake Wamala, with its fresh waters, contains wetlands that are home to many endangered species like birds, reptiles, with various types of fish species like catfish, tilapia, and mudfish. This has an interesting history of disappearing and reappearing. It first disappeared in 1940 and resurfaced in 1941. In 1992, it dried up and disappeared, came back in 1997 during the famous El Nino rains. The showers and starts floating on the lake, creating suds. So it is very hard to separate Wamala from suds. The two Wamala and suds are inseparable. Uh, those when uh, water levels recede, many suds uh, stop at where they were and become part of the sh uh, shore uh, vegetation. As such, if it has landed on a landing site like this one, that landing site becomes inaccessible for as long as the water levels don't increase. Lake Wamala is over 250 kilometers but respectively shallow with depth ranging from 1.5 to 4.5 meters, the lake faces challenges of moving islands, among others. Water hyacinth on Lake Wamala with the green coloring water proving a threat to the aquatic life therein. The moving islands are reportedly affecting navigation majorly to the hand dug canoes and other boats. However, efforts to convince the line minister of water to allow them use small canoes that are able to maneuver between the floating islands seem to have hit a dead end. Many lives have been lost as a result of floating vegetation. <laughs> Fishermen on the other side say the presence of the floating islands sometimes acts as breeding grounds for mature species, species before heavy winds start pushing them away. This has immensely contributed to the social and economic welfare of fishermen. Mm. The fishing business on Lake Wamala will not be spared by fishing patrols according to the notice from Marine Police Unit, putting them on notice of their fishing activities beginning June 2022. However, as police and other sister agencies prepare to weigh in on fishing activities on Lake Wamala, the fishermen here are requesting government to suspend the operation to enable them comply with the set guidelines governing the fishing industry. <laughs> During a visit to Katiko, Gombe, Butebi, Kalyan Koko, Chimuli, and Usalira, we found fishermen selling their fish. The Mitiana District Fisheries Officer Elijah Senyonjo says the much anticipated crackdown on fishing activities on Lake Wamala is not an act of punishment, but to improve the fishing methods. Which is about uh, a, few, a few days from now, because our program we have to close this lake on 1st June 2022 for about six months to allow for fish growth within the lake. Uh, we have engaged fishermen and we are working with them to remove illegal gears, which, uh, which has the same objective as closing the, the lake. So with the increasing number of fishermen dying on Lake Wamala, resulting from collision with the floating islands, Senyonjo says the interim solution is to use canoes as government plans to remove the floating island that often block fishing landing sites.